Next week, she will find out if she is still in the race for Bear County Sheriff. But before that, former Constable Michelle Barrientes Vela is forced to make an appearance in felony court. Our Dylan Collier has covered her fall from grace since the very beginning and was there as her attorneys said they can beat this case. <laughs> Ma'am, this is a public hallway. Supporters of Michelle Barrientes Vela tried unsuccessfully. You're doing a bad job, ma'am. To block our camera from gathering footage of the accused felon. Barrientes Vela and her former captain, Mark Garcia, face a list of public corruption charges. The one-time Precinct 2 constable, who was removed from office in October, has added former District Attorney Nico LaHood's high-powered law firm in her fight to overcome the six criminal counts. LaHood today offered no timeline on how long it could take to go to trial, saying there is a lot of evidence in this case. So it's going to take as long as it takes for us to make a proper assessment and to give Ms. Vela the, a proper defense. Uh, at, at this point, we've seen nothing that worries us or that we believe that she is guilty of the allegations. Years of incidents and allegations culminated last fall with this 10-hour raid of the then constable's offices. I have been subjected over and over to this kind of things that you're seeing behind me right now. She spoke while rangers removed files, but is now letting her legal counsel do the talking. At this time, she maintains her innocence and we, we stand with her. This court appearance comes less than a week before the March primary. LaHood saying that Barrientes Vela went right from court back to the voting polls. She is scheduled to make her next court appearance in about 60 days. Outside the Bear County Justice Center, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.